Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. So what I have here today are two very simple boxes I picked up at the dollar store and in one of them I drilled a hole as you can see and as I began working on this you will realize what that hole is for. For now I will attach these two boxes together using my E6000 and then I will add a bit of background texture to start with. And for that I use some drywall tape and also some painter's tape. Now aside from creating nice texture, these pieces of tape will also help secure the boxes together and to smooth over the seams. Now usually I prefer working with recycled boxes, but I just couldn't find anything the right size in my stash. So these simple boxes will do. Now here's my little granddaughter really trying to help me. So I added some tape pretty much everywhere and I used my bone folder to press it all really tightly so everything sticks well. And then I also add a bit of texture paste just here and there. So I think this is a good time to turn you over to some music. My process will be easy for you to follow. I will put all the mediums I'm using in my captions. Like always, I edited out all the repetitious stuff, but I left some of the detailed work. I just sped it up a bit because the bits and pieces I'm using are of course very uh, unique to my own stash and you most likely have very different things to work with. So seeing my detailed work a little faster and just giving you the general idea I think will serve you well. Right here I am adding a couple of coffee sticks just to widen the box a wee bit. I needed an extra two millimeter for those metal feet to fit properly. So please enjoy some music and enjoy watching me work on this project and I will talk to you in just a wee bit.
What I have here are a couple of resin forms. The first one has a heart shape, it is undone. The second one is already completed by a friend of mine. She did a beautiful job. It has a geometrical design in the background, great colors, some teal stones, a little star, some glitter and so on. And it's round, which I prefer. So I will use it on my project, but first I will add a little bit of black gesso to the rim. I will also add some of the gesso to the owl over there on the left side, just to pull those pieces together a bit. My clock is completed. This is the second one I made. My first one was made from a record. It's hanging on my wall. This one has feet so it can stand up and I think these two boxes worked really well for me. Here is the mechanism in the back and my back label with the word authentic. Now these two boxes came with these slots and they kind of lent themselves to have something dangling from it or suspended between them. That's why I went for this decoration here on the right. And of course, it is a very pretty piece. Here is another close-up of it. And I was lucky enough to have some microbeads in just the right colors. And I think the little bottles give it that extra interest and pulls it together. So does the little owl, which I colored same way I did the rim for the resin piece. As you can see, the clock works and keeps time. I'm happy with the way the colors came out on this one. I purposely used so many more colors than I usually do, uh, but I'm happy with the way they blended together. It was definitely an experiment, which I really enjoyed. Now, as you can see, I added some numbers, just the 12, the three, and the eight, and there's actually a five over in the right-hand corner. And they are only approximately placed where they belong. 
Aside from the two boxes, everything I used, I either found in a thrift store or in my husband's handyman drawer, or it was sent or given to me by some of my dear friends. So for something like this, you can absolutely use anything you have in your own stash, including recycled boxes and the clock mechanism you can find in any craft store. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you will come and see me soon again. I will be back latest by next Friday. Please stay safe and creative and bye bye for now.